So today I'm gonna bring you along for a recipe um, that I'm doing for my Christmas Eve uh, dinner tonight. And we have about 20 people coming over. Um, this recipe, I've done this uh, one other time um, with chucker meat and tonight we're doing it with sausage. And so I'm making these biscuits that are cheesy and they have sausage and they're absolutely delicious. All the while I'm rotating some stuff out of the pantry and the freezer so I'm keeping that uh, rotation going and I'm prepping some stuff ahead for my husband to take back home to his other home <laughs> with him. So that being said, I hope you go to the description box Look at my Wild Tree products on my website. Just click on the link. Go to my Facebook page if you have Facebook. And um, as always, guys, I hope this brings you back. And if you like this, maybe somewhere along the way, give me a thumbs up, leave me a message, um, and maybe share it on your Facebook page. All right, let's go make some biscuits. Okay, so this is super easy. And this is my um, baking mix. Uh, you can use Bisquick, you can use your own baking mix uh, that you've made yourself or you can make up your own biscuit dough and do it that way but I had this and it's time for it to get used up so I said I'm gonna go ahead and use this so you just break up any little clumps that might be in there at the moment okay and then I add milk to my okay so what I have in here is about six cups of my baking mix and I added oh, a good two cups of whole milk. Um, you just want a pretty stiff biscuit dough that you think you could roll out and work um, on a floured surface, if that's what you were gonna do. We're gonna do these a little more on the rustic side. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add cheese. And this is really by sight of how much you want. I like to have at least a cup to a cup and a half of shredded cheese in this particular recipe. And then I eyeball the sausage mixture because you don't want it overpowering the recipe, but you do you do want it in there. And it's so wonderful to bite down on a big piece of sausage crumble while you're eating this biscuit. So I browned off a pound and a half of sausage. Here, we'll see how much that is. It might not take that full amount. Go ahead and drain that. And looks like it's about time to get messy. So I'm gonna put a glove on at this point. So I don't want this under my fingernails. Oh, I hope everybody is ready for this Christmas Eve and Christmas Day because it just creeps up on you and all of a sudden here it is and you're on a time schedule to get everything done. Our dinner is tonight at 6. I've got my sides all prepped from, you know, last night. I've got to get my hams prepped and then we're ready to start cooking. But I want to cook these biscuits ahead. So now I've got my glove on and I'm just gonna incorporate the sausage and the cheese into this mixture. And how easy is that? And then all you're gonna do is bake these off. I put them out on the uh, appetizer table, or well, it's a wet bar kind of thing. Um, I put this out there and for the dinner table. So, it looks like to me, it could use a little bit more of each. So let me get, oh yeah, maybe not, I don't know. Actually, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little bit more sausage, but not much. And I'm gonna leave the cheese the way it is. I just don't want it to end up too fatty. And the main t flavor profile is the sausage anyways. I think we have plenty of, of uh, cheese. Okay. Now I've got my baking tray here. 
And these are just rustic as they can be. You're just taking about a golf ball size, okay? You do not need to spray the tray unless you're super paranoid, but um, it has some fat in the baking mix, it has some fat in the sausage, it has some fat in the cheese, so these usually don't stick. And this glove is not working for me now. So I'll bring you back after I get those all rolled and I'll show you what they Okay, look. so these, uh, let's see, there's four, eight, 12, 16, 20. That's 20 on that first tray. It's probably going to make about, <laughs> by the looks of it, maybe 60. <laughs> but I might go to Bigger Biscuits before it's all done for the dinner part. So um, we'll get these in the oven and I'll show you Okay, when I so these they're done. Um, I, and I put them in a... 375 degree oven. I just, you know, when you smell them and they're golden brown on the bottom, they're ready. They cook really fast. They're a very light biscuit. Um, they puffed up a little bit more, which tells me there was a little more leveling agent in my mix than usual. Because usually these don't puff that quite that much. I've already rolled out the second batch here, and I was right. It's going to make 60 or 70 of these. So, but the nice thing is I'm going to freeze these. I'm prepping some of these ahead for my husband to take back with him. So no worries. They smell wonderful. So let me get this loaded up and I'll take a bite for you and I'll let you go. And then we can get busy with Christmas Eve dinner. Hopefully I get everything done on time. <laughs> it's always a scramble and I run out of time and you're like, eh getting dressed while people are ringing the doorbell and trying to just scramble. That precious time. Okay, I'm going to put that in the oven and let the second batch go. This pan is cooled enough for me. The nice thing about parchment is you can use it a couple of different times and it's nonstick. It's great. So let me bring this over and give you a close-up of that without that paper in view. <clears throat> they look so good. They're, I'm sure, screaming hot, but we'll, uh, we'll go in for the team here. Let's pick a smaller one. Um, let me just break them apart. Look how pretty. That's nice. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. That sausage is like just absolutely perfect. It makes this biscuit so savory and it gives that holiday feel because uh, it's just that time of year. And so anyway, I hope that if you like this, you give me a thumbs up and I really hope you try this recipe. It's super easy and delicious. Like I said, you can use Bisquick, you can use um, your own baking mix or any of your, there's lots of baking mixes out there, or you could make your biscuits from scratch and do it that way. And um, I did a time saver and rotated some stuff out of the pantry and the freezer. So there you go. Um, and I guess as always, God bless. And you guys all have a very Merry Christmas.